Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to play with a Polish tier 9 tank destroyer which has a weird uh, gun mechanic. Closer you are, more damage you do. Uh, but first of all we want to take a look into the armor. This is the armor of this vehicle. Um, on the flat ground if let's say you are meeting the 50 TP or in other words the tank which has 250 millimeters of penetration. As you can see lower plate is unfortunately paper, although whenever you are using your gun depression this um, this looks pretty decent. Unless the tank is loading gold ammunition then it's not so good. And if we are taking someone with a better gold ammunition as phase one, well the situation looks completely different, right? So armor wise not really reliable but you are going to get some bounces. Also one more thing which is super important to highlight, uh, we have a new feature in the index page boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and it is matched crew vehicles. You may think skill. Uh, what that's supposed to mean? Well, imagine that you bought the brand new tank for yourself, Mr. Defender, right? And you are wondering what kind of crew you're supposed to use of this tank. Well, now you can click over there and you can find uh, perfectly 100% matching crews, right? Uh, and that goes for every tank. Obviously, there is, uh, um, there is some vehicles uh, which doesn't have matching crews and it is extremely important to highlight. So some premium tanks, in my opinion, should have their own crews as an example, Z 3 Project, whatever, right? And in this situation, there is no matching crews, right? Um, so it is important thing to highlight overall. Anyways, when we have this out of the way, let's teleport into the game and let's make uh, Gonkevica work. Okay, guys, very first game with this tank is in the Pilsen standard battle tier 10 tier 8 matchmaking. Listen, what I really want to highlight about this lane and about uh, those tanks that they are unreliable right if if someone would say describe the polish tank destroyer line in one word the word would be unreliable literally in everything um the gun handling is not too bad i would say it's even average right but in the same time you know it feels very very different whenever you are hitting oh my bananas whenever you are hitting someone over uh, uh, 500 meters distance for 300 or whenever you are hitting someone over let's say 50 meters for 700 or 800 right 800 oh my bananas that feels great you know that feels absolutely glorious whenever you are hitting someone for 300 well then it is not so fun looking into penetration and everything 292 millimeters of penetration that's not too bad the shell velocity 1.7 thousand that's awesome um, it is very, very, very good. But whenever you are hitting, whenever you are hitting Jack Pizda for 500 and Jack Pizda is hitting you for 700 or uh, sorry, 950, which is low roll for this guy, unfortunate, then you are just simply feeling like that. Uh, this tank you know where the tank where the aggressive tank destroyer goes it's far away from being ideal right it's just far away from being ideal meanwhile unfortunately jack piece the cross through the middle and i tried to hit the ml what a horrible timing but it is how it is i'm just accepting that and still i think this jack piece that was pretty lucky to be fair with you this guy is snap shooting like crazy mother trucker. Good for him, I guess. Good for him. Good. A bit of the armor. A bit of the armor. Can we hit him? No, we cannot. Yeah. Whenever I played with this tank, fellas, and I played quite a bit uh, on the patch day just to figure out how it feels like, right? I had so many questions. I had so many questions with this tank, it, it, or for this vehicle, I suppose to say. It wasn't, it wasn't really fun, or it wasn't uh, too enjoyable, to say that the least, right? And I know that there is going to be some people who will love this lane with all their heart, right? I have no doubts whatsoever about that, truly. There is going to be someone who will love it. But there is going to be some people who cannot stand this line and who are going to be very, very, um, well, maybe not angry, but very pessimistic for this line, right? And I think I am going to be one of those, uh, 
um, players who won't enjoy this too much. Sure thing, in certain situations, uh, it will work. And you know what I want to believe? I want to believe that we are going to have a pretty strong best of games with this tank whenever we will mark it, you know. I'm talking about overall uh, about the Polish tanks from tier um, 8 to tier 10. Whenever we will mark it, I believe we will have plenty of the good games to showcase how the tank works whenever it's ideal. But I, I know it's negative. Fellas, I understand. Uh, I know it doesn't uh, um, sound great whenever I am describing my feelings for this tank or I am showcasing how this tank feels like. But what do you want me to say? Do you want me to promote this line and to say it is the best line in the world of tanks when I know it is very complicated to play for it? I think honesty is important, okay? Now, enough of the negativity. Let's try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can over there, okay? That would be very much appreciated, and this is exactly what we are looking for. So, what is the proper way to um, play the game here? Bad aim by me, can't complain. Simply bad aim by me. Okay, Mr. Emil, how are you doing this fine day? Good. Emil is eliminated. Nice, 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 nice. A Mike 65T is a dancer. He is very. Ooh, he is. Uh oh. He is very, very friendly, gentlemen. As you can see, he has his PP in the air and he is having a blast. And I appreciate his moves and I appreciate his dance. In this situation, the damage doesn't really matter, does it? And now we are trying to play hold down to the best of our abilities. He's aiming for our lower plate. Luckily, he did not manage to do that properly. And we have a mad Fosh B cow who is just slapping the living crap out of him. That's great. How about uh, Mr. E100? E100 missed. That's good. Do I want to load the gold? Probably yes. I mean, it doesn't really matter to be fair with you. 292 millimeters of penetration is good, but 320 is better, right? 500. It's okay. It could be. It could be worse. From the 300 meters distance, which is, in my opinion, in the world of tanks, like average playing distance, right? Um, it does 500 damage in 12 seconds. Is it? Is it ideal? Um, I would not say so. But we are okay. We are all right. No mystery, 100. Don't you want to pick? I do not really think this gentleman is planning to pick. To be fair with you, I think he is. I think he understands that uh, he can't be too aggressive. If I need to predict what he is going to do next, my prediction is... I was about to say that he is going to take this angle over there, but we have already a gnome waiting under that rock, so that's okay. It is alright. As you can see, we stopped crying, we are just trying to focus on the game and we are just trying to make this tank work and it's difficult. It is very, very difficult. And this is the main reason why beginner friendliness on this line is 2 and I would even consider to push it um, towards the 1 level, you know? It is not the line for a beginner uh, for sure. I wonder, this Mr. Jack Pizda is waiting here around the corner or not? This is the question. Okay. He is good. Good. Not a big surprise, is it? The thing is, if he is going to load the 420 hits, I am a dead meat, okay? Just to let you know, if he is loading 420 hits, I'm dead meat. But you know what? We are going to be okay. What is the distance? The distance over there is 211 meters, so I guess average alpha damage should be 620. Okay? I guess 620 is average alpha. I could take my time to go for the guys over there, but uh, I am kind of lazy, to be fair with you. Maybe I shouldn't be. Mm, I'm afraid of that T30, but but Buffalo is already kind of dead. Please don't wait for me here. Good. Mm. Now I'm afraid to peek here. I think I needed to be a bit more patient. 
I think I needed to be a tiny touch more patient, trying to be here, Jacquees that still thinks that I am looking at him, and you know what? You are not wrong. How about that? That's it. I made this game, and in fact, my life mission to slap Jack Pizda. That's it. This is what I'm doing. I'm sitting, and I am just simply waiting until this gentleman will peek. Obviously, he could have escaped like this. I'm very, very well aware of that. Um, but in the same time, I think we are going to be all right here. Actually... You know what? I changed my mind. Scale, you are changing your mind so often. Listen, fellas, it's complicated game. What do you want me to say? It is very complicated battle. We want to be uh, competitive. We want to um, have a decent score. And I want to show you how to play with those vehicles. And trust me, um, it's far away from being easy. It is far away from being easy, fellas. Okay, my thinking process. You see this hold down position over there? We can try to take this one and maybe we are going to see Jack Pizdas lurking somewhere uh, over there. Actually, no, it's not going to be the case. How about if we would take this corner and we would wait until someone would make a bit of pressure like this towards the middle? This could work. This could definitely work. Ah, one more highlight. It is extremely rare to have a tier 9 tank which doesn't have 445 meters view range, okay? That is extremely rare and that is unique and this vehicle has it. And this is not good and this is not the feature where we could say, yeah, that's awesome. No, 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 it doesn't work this way. You shouldn't be able to penetrate me, so I'm kind of all right. Yeah, APCRs. You see... Once again, now looking into this situation and everything, uh, the armor of this tank isn't the biggest pile of kaku, fellas. Uh, but I really want to highlight the, uh, the things like this. Whenever you are dealing against the tanks which are willing to shoot uh, um, the gold, uh, by the way, I'm not blaming the guy, I'm just highlighting the situation. Look, this, uh, this looks okay, right? Because this was uh, our angle, or maybe our angle was like this, doesn't really matter. Maybe even like this, right? So he, he had better chances. But what I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah. The situation looks very, very, very different whenever someone loads the gold. So the feature of this tank having armor, it, it is gone. It disappears. So, yeah. Anyways, I know it started very, very negatively, fellas. I'm aware of that. I apologize for this, but this is how, what I think about this line. I do not want to pretend that I like it because I don't. And we are back, fellas. Unfortunately, with the defeat... Ooh. Supply delivery. Select the reward. Thank you. I would like to select the reward. World of Tanks party tokens. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, it, there is no better time to highlight it now. Um, there is new drops coming. I know, right? What a, what a good timing. So if you want to get yourself uh, um, the camos, you want to get yourself some styles and whatnot, tune in into the, into the stream and say, hello, skill, you beautiful mother trucker. I hope you are having a great day. Um, today on the stream, more likely we are going to play with the Polish tank destroyers and we will try to master them. Uh, so... Uh, prepare your salty helmet, if you know what I mean. Anyways, enough of that. 3.1 thousand damage, 400 assisting damage. We finished uh, uh, second by experience, second by the damage, and we lost 5,000 credits. That is okay. We are going to be completely fine. And this map and this situation looks a bit different. Skill! Listen, um... We will try to do everything what we physically and possibly can not to be a tourist, fellas. Uh, and we will slap the living crap out of the enemy heavy tanks. So what we are doing, we are going into the heavy line. The important thing to note is we have minus 7 degrees of the gun depression, so it should be okay. I should be able to hide my lower plate properly, so only one thing what I need to be afraid of is this cupola. But one more thing, fellas, you cannot cover your cupola like this with this tank, because then you are... Um, showcasing this uh and i think it is weak where the armor goes actually we can double check it out i will let you know everything in a second uh actually it's not that weak never mind on the tier 8 what i noticed whenever i played with a tier 8 
Um, it was super duper hyper turbo weak and it was pretty much everyone could penetrate me with high explosives, right? Uh, with a tier 9 it looks like the situation is a bit better and that is a good thing. Meanwhile, Mr. Oh, Char Futur. Now, if I would be Char Futur, this would be the moment whenever I would shit my pants. Oy oy. Oy oy. 822 in the face. Yeah, unfortunate for a Char Futur. And once again, this is the situation where this tank is shining. Good tank, my man. Good tank. Nine to the face. We are not even thinking and the commander said the things properly like a hot knife through the butter, fellas. Like a hot knife through the butter. How about that? Mm, how about you go to the garage? Beautiful. And this is, once again, this is very good thing to show that this vehicle can be um, good as well, right? And in this situation, you can say whatever you want, but that is awesome. You know, close distance. We are dealing against the lower tier tanks. We are feeling very, very, very good. And we can keep slapping them like there is no tomorrow. And this is exactly what we want to see. And this is exactly what we want to do. As an example, this gentleman just messed up. And you know what? That's great. How are you doing this fine day? Take that. Eight hundred in the face. Beautiful. And we are just working this lane out like nothing happened. This gentleman just fired. My man, brother. My beautiful brother. Here you go. 889 in the face. Look how fast we are stacking this damage. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. But once again, it won't happen every single time. Most of the time, the situation will look a bit uh, different. Uh, most uh, most of the time, situation will be, well, not a bit different. Situation will be way, way, way different. Just because of the distance. But since we are brawling against the enemies now, it feels good, okay? In this situation, this tank is mwah, very, very nice. That's all we needed to do. And pay attention at importance of the matchmaking. And of the map. Open map, it's called Go Eat Kaku. You are getting the close map like this. Whenever you can go and bravel against the lower tier matchmaking, then you are ho 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 ho. Come here, you beautiful, magnificent bastards. And then you are slapping everyone in the face. So one of those vehicles. Choo -choo 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 -choo, he should be sitting right there. My prediction. What do you think? Am I right or am I wrong? Soon we are going to figure this out. I mean, he obviously could have moved, but that's okay. Uh, the distance between me and him is 290 meters. So you see this? Also, one more thing. If you haven't noticed that, you do not need to guess how much damage you are doing. Whenever you are aiming, it shows the damage over there, right? So in this guy... <laughs> 900! <laughs> Well, yeah, that uh, it happened. It's okay. I showed him my side. I simply... Listen, look, enemy team is losing the game. I need to share my hit points with the enemy team. They are already after and they are already crying about this situation. So there is nothing else to do. Just be kind and to share a bit of the hit points over there. Hopefully that makes sense. Right, fellas? Just a bit. I do not want to give them too much, but just a bit. Now, he will pick. 3, 2, 1, aha! I am reloading quicker than he does. He may not know that, and if he doesn't know this, we are going to slap him. Come on. Object. Oh, Mr. Object. Beautiful. Whew, very, very nice. Plus, on top of that, we have a chance to rig brother in arms, and I am all the time taking a chance to get my favorite medal in the game. Hi. Beautiful. Beautiful performance. This is a per perfection with this tank, right? This is good. So, you know what we need for a full happiness at the moment? We need to get open map and we need to score like 1,000 or 2,000 damage in the game. And we need to finish everything with a note that this tank is... You know, uh, that's what we need to do for a full happiness. Overall, this game went well. 
Uh, I can't complain whenever I saw the map, I instantly said it is going to be a good game just because what this tank is capable of doing and how the things are looking like overall. We are saying thank you for... He effed me and he did not ask my name. Shame on you, mother trucker. Shame on you. Anyways, uh, 5.8 thousand damage, 5 kills, second class, a high caliber, rigged brother in arms, which are always very much appreciated, right? Um... We are first by, wait a second, second class, so it's already very, very hard to get ace on this tank, apparently, expectation, uh, as expectation changed. Okay, good to know, 1.3 thousand base experience, uh, 5.8 thousand um, damage, and we made a bit of the profits as well. Uh, Good. Okay, guys. Studzanki standard battle. What do we want to do? Meanwhile, our art. La 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 la. Hey, la 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 la. Well, maybe maybe it is good that he's playing with Arta, fellas. <laughs> maybe it is good. It would be significantly worse if he would play with the actual tank when you need to play the game, okay? Anyways, uh, what do we want to do? We want to play somewhere over there, I guess. Uh... I think this is the proper way. Sniping with this tank is just simply not worth it. So we want to position ourselves somewhere um, from where we can get a bit more use. And I hope that makes sense. And I think the best position for us will be a bit more aggressive one. Please don't do that. Um, whenever we are playing in this bush here. Because I think I can abuse this bush properly. And I can uh, simply punish enemies... Watch it. Uh oh. Okay. Good, 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 good. I made a good decision by turning. Art incoming in 3, 2, 1, run. Oh, ho, 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 ho. standard B. <laughs> Unlucky, my man. Unlucky. Okay. Now we can take this position here. That is okay. 500 damage to the IS 7. 500 is better than 0. Maybe, maybe fire? No fire, but a bit of the tracking damage. That is okay. Arta still has one in the magazine. I'm talking about the bad shot, but luckily he is missing his shot. I saw the future, fellas. I saw the future. That's why I said, luckily, that's it. Bad shot Arta is out at the moment, so we are just chilling and enjoying ourselves. Uh, what is the next thing what would happen in this game? We are going to slap this guy for zero because we gave him another chance, right? We are aware of that. It's okay. All good. Good. Do I want to ruin this IS-7 performance? What I was thinking at the moment, actually nothing. Nothing, fellas. I am, I am just simply not thinking, okay? How about that? Hear me out. I was thinking about um, dealing uh, with, uh, with this um, house over there, but maybe it is a good thing we didn't. Meanwhile, there is a budget and there is object. All we need to do, we need to politely say for our Udes, let's go together, don't be afraid, just don't be afraid, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. It's okay to be afraid, my man, but not at the moment. Good, 885. Look at those juicy high rolls, we got this. He is protecting Batshat, have you seen that? He is currently on the reload and he is saying, Mr. Batshat, oh no. I will help you to survive 868. Um, I'm not so altruistic to protect our guy. Unfortunately, it happens to the best of us. I did not react in time. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I did not react in time, fellas. Uh, well, what we, what we learned um, from this tank so far, sometimes it is tears and sometimes uh, there are tears from the happiness. You get the point what I'm saying? Very, very, very interesting uh, tank, honestly. Very, very interesting. Uh, Grilla. I needed to try. Uh, I do not have any other... I'm not spotted. What the... That was weird. I'm not complaining, though. 
Uh, we are getting close, but we are getting close with high explosives. Uh, what is the reason for high explosives? Because there is two targets which we can penetrate with high explosives without any questions asked. That is Wafflecock and that is Grille. Probably Grille is still sitting somewhere around this area, so we can slap him in the face. Let's see, Grille is over there. Hey, mate, I hope you are having a good time. 800 in the face, just like this. Beautiful. And now... All we are thinking about is we are thinking about this Asterva skill. Why would you think about Asterva? And by the way, for Asterva, we need to load high explosives because we do not have a uh, good enough caliber to overmatch him. So with usual tanks, uh, we would be able to slap the living crap out of him. Now I need to aim to Cupola. Yeah, I know, disgusting, I get it, I've seen it all, but we need to do what we need to do. And if we won't penetrate him, we will get a bit uh, of use anyways, right? So that is okay. Where is the other Arta? I have a feeling he will sit somewhere here, right? Arta. Oh, Arta. Uh -huh. Mine, 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 mine. Worth a trifle. And a bit of assisting damage is very uh, welcome. Another good game. Good. We played this well. Okay, fellas. And we are back with a 3.4 thousand damage, 3.1 thousand assisting damage. We played aggressively. Beautiful performance, fellas. And we made a bit of the credits. So our session with this tank is 4,000 average damage and 1.2 thousand assisting damage. <coughs> now, hear me out. It's not going to be that every game will look like this, okay? It won't, uh, it won't happen this way, um, unfortunately, right? It very much, this tank and overall the Polish tank destroyers are very dependent on the map. If you can bravel, if you are top tier, you will have Gucci performance. It's going to be good. If you cannot do that, if let's say you are going to get something like Prokurovka, Kempinovka or something else, um, then it is going to be significantly more complicated. So all in all, I rated most of those tank destroyers average apart some lower tiers. And for now, fellas, uh, keep... Um, if you played with this tank, feel free to leave your comments down below. And fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to highlight, if you have a moment or two, right, um, feel free to rate um, the Polish tank destroyers as well in the index page. Ooh, they are not in the index. Ah, they are in the index page. Never mind. Uh, my bad, fellas. My bad. Wrong alarm, right? So feel free to give your vote for one or another tank destroyer. Obviously, if you have played um, 50 battles plus, right? That would help for others to have a good understanding how they are looking like and how to vote. Uh, log in via our gaming API and you can then vote for a tanks if you have 50 games plus. Anyways. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.